and we are on the requested just guy in a hairy list uh, this looks like it's going to be uh, one of my teammates will be on um, Blake for the open um, so the deck's running three colonnades one field of ruin uh, four strands one glacial fortress two hollow fountains three islands one mountain one plains of sacred foundries four tarns two steam vents and a sulfur falls um, so this deck really does plan, by the way, to just go after that uh, Just Guy Control Shell, but then it has this uh, powerful wit end game of Nahiriing into the Emrakul. Um, so it's got the four paths, four serums, four bolt, three leaks, two search, four snaps, three helix, two Gideons, three angers. So I feel like any creature matchup, we're just going to absolutely dominate. Um, and then we've got two Cryptics, and then Nahiri into the Emrakul. In the sideboard here... We've got two Rest in Peace, a uh, Wrath, a Dispel, a Disdainful Stroke, and two Negates, Supreme Is It, two uh, Wear and Tears, three Dancing Spheres, and an EE. So pretty sweet list. I believe this is from Hooglin, so thank you, Hooglin, for sending us the deck. And let's try this out. This hand's not doing much. We, like, we can't cast Anger the Gods in. We can't cast Gideon. Our Snapcaster's not doing anything in this hand. So let's let's go ahead and mulligan this one. This one's not much better, but I think we'll keep it. If we hit one red source, we can uh, run out the Nahiri. We did get a Serum off the top, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and sear him right away. Um, we got a bolt. So I think we're just going to keep the serum on top. We did draw a serum. Probably an aggressive mono white deck. Yeah. Alrighty. So we are just going to want to try to hit some red sources here. We did hit one. That's good. We can send Cryptic to the bottom. We can run out Gideon next turn, which is pretty good for us. I think I want to send that Cryptic to the bottom. No, let's let's keep it on top. We'll go Cryptic on top, Gideon on top, because then we can run out the Sacred Foundry here. We'll pass it over. Next turn we'll go planes. And hitting another blue source shouldn't be too bad for us. So if we run out Gideon, Gideon will fade us a turn. They just want to go for us, but that doesn't seem correct. Nope, they're just going for us. Okay. We are at eight. We'll see him here. We did get the steam events, which is great. We can send <laughs> I 
We'll keep the uh, field of ruin on top and the snapcaster on top here. We're gonna shock ourselves. Run out the anger. And we're actually just gonna emblem here. We're pretty low. I don't want to risk anything that we, if we don't have to. Next turn we can plan on just playing the Colonnade, Nahiri, start taking up on whatever they play, and try to take over the game. Bin the Snapcaster. They didn't play anything, so we're just going to beat them up with Gideon. I think we want Wrath here. We want EE -E here. We want Supreme here. Static caster seems pretty good. A lot of their stuff had pretty low one butt. And I think we can take out the searches. And the cryptics. Yeah, we could have... Um, yeah, I'd have, that's what I was thinking about. But I, So my thought of not sending that to the bottom was that we would be able to um, cast the cryptic to get what we're looking for. But... You're probably right that I, I absolutely. I mean, you're you're more of a control player than I am. Um, that we, I'm gonna keep this. We've got double serum vision and a land. So everything that you guys have told me, this is completely reasonable. I think I'm gonna crack for the steam vents here because then we're set up really well for the anger. And I'm just sending all this to the bottom, just looking for lands. They are on a one lander. All right, looks like we found our lands. Um, if we grab the flooded strand, we're going to be shipping away the island. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go top, top like that. Play the top and pass it over. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, the colonnade definitely screwed everything up. So yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct. I should have just uh, shipped it the other way. So I don't think it's worth it to uh, run out the anger, right? Like, I should just snap Serum here try to get more lands going, and I can still block the champion. So I'll have the land on top, get the flooded. Then I got the glacial on top as well, so I'll go do that top and then the glacial on top. And just pass that over. That way I've got all the lands I need, and then I should just be completely taking over this game, because they still haven't hit their lands. <laughs> Alright, they're going to path their champion. We are cool with that. Falia.
Mm -mm -mm. So you can just <coughs> you can either anger here, or we can run up Gideon, tick up on one of the creatures, and use the snap to block the other one. I think the Gideon play seems pretty good because then we're making them commit more to the board. Anger here, and then we can hold up our mana, mana leak for whatever else they have. fine. Also fine. Good to just wrath the board. So then we can run out Staticaster. Oh, I know. Uh, we cannot run out Staticaster, but I think that's still fine. So now we're just going to plus. I'm good with keeping the cards we have. And let's beat them up. Sovereign, so our Emrakul doesn't come into play tapped. Because I want to kill them with Emrakul.
Aww. We couldn't kill him with Emrakul. I just conceded. Did Emrakul's ever really kill, though? I thought they always just concede. If we're against like pretty much any creature that we've got all the answers in the world and then we've got a search on turn two as well so this doesn't seem unreasonable so i think we can keep this Steam vents. Run out the glacial and we'll ship it on over. Helix can't deal with that. We could snap bolt it. Well, let's run up the island. We'll ship it over. Figure it out from there. Meddling mage, okay. Exile. <coughs> That's fine. Let's run out the snap. to be happy when we helix them over and over. Sweet. Mm -mm -mm. If we search, I'm not going to be able to trigger it anyway, so let's just pass it over.
Okay. What's anger? And then we can crack this. Let's go get an island and we'll run out our search and pass it over. mage put Nahiri in the graveyard no transform yes discard I do not want to discard we'll pass it over Okay, we got there. Okay, so I want the Wrath, I want the Supreme, I want the Izzet, and I want the EE still. The rest I'm okay with not having. Get rid of the searches and the cryptics. This seems fun. Can we just play against all the creature decks? Is that is that what you're planning on, Blake? You just want to go against all the creature decks and destroy everybody because of it. the other card we probably shouldn't have kept right Blake why didn't you tell me we were supposed to take out our mana leaks Ooh, are they in the one lander that tickles me all kinds of fun top ways Grab, I think the hallowed fountain. We will run out the tap steam vents and ship it over. <gasps> they got another land, and we're gonna leak it so hard. Well, that was it. <sighs> we're so good at this. I should be a Just Guy player. This is what I should be on, obviously. <laughs> I just need my opponents to, like, miss land drops and then keep one laters, and then we get rewarded for it. Like, can I just have that happen at the tournament? You're building a cat castle while you watch me. I just want you to know, I completely understand where you're at in life. I also understand that you're supposed to put me first always and forever. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs>
Snap is fine where you have one, worship this other one, and grab the flooded. What exactly is a cat castle? Out of curiosity. I'm a person that has no pets at all, so not quite really in the know here. Looks like we're against spirits, I feel like. Um, this seems like a pretty good time for us to just run out the search though, and then we'll just pass it over. I need a pick. Alright, I'm waiting for it. When it's complete. Because uh, I expect you to have this completely built in a very short amount of time here. Colony in your graveyard? No, we'll take that. Wanderer or a noble? A noble. Hmm, those nobles are going to do work. Do we want to bolt this? <coughs> I think we're okay with bolting this. Serum? No, we'll take the serum. Let's crack the flooded first. I want to keep our scries relevant. Anger is awkward, we can't cast it. Mm -hmm. We drew the Nahiri. We should be able to keep them off. I'm going to send that anger. <sighs> I'm going to keep it. I'll keep it below that. And we'll ship it over. Ah, those are cat castles. I'm always curious what those are called. I have a couple co-workers that are absolutely obsessed with cats, um, has everything for them, so pretty fun to see what all you can do with that. Big upside for us is they're just not really pressuring us. Hmm. Remorseful cleric. Makes a lot of sense in the main right now. <coughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I definitely should have, but I don't know. I was trying to con conserve life, and we should hit a second red source without too much issue, I would imagine. Okay, so if we try to snap path, I mean snap bolt, they'll just exile it, which seems fine, right? Like we just pop, make them pop their remorseful cleric right now. And if they want to sack the Wanderer, that's also okay. Interesting. Planes. Yes, I don't need a planes. Oh man, we got another anger. Okay. Let's run out Nahiri. And we're gonna discard this anger. Oh my gosh, we got the turn. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm so curious as to what's in their hand that they're just not casting. You want me to cryptic tap, bounce, snap, uh, and then snap the anger? But if I run off the Nahiri, I can either go for the inevitable win here, unless they want to commit more to the board, and at that point, um, I can punish them further, wouldn't it? Because right now I'm just hitting two creatures, and they can mausoleum wander and counter the anger. So, like, isn't that pretty bad for me if I go that route you're talking about? Because I don't have an, another land here. Oh, that's my line now. Okay. That That makes much more sense. So, right now, um, is it worth it just to Scalding Tar and go get a Hallowed Fountain and try to path the Mausoleum Wanderer? It seems pretty good because then Arden here is going to stay at 6 instead of going down to 3. And they'll lose another creature. I think that's where I want to be. Because then I can uptick Nahiri here. Next turn I can tap down their team. Uh, no, I want the Snapcaster. We'll plus just a plus. Snap.
I'll take that land so I can start snapping. They're gonna reflect your mage, I'm gonna call it now. And I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, <laughs> didn't happen. Okay, so I feel like we're boarding the exact same way every time, but I'm still bringing in the wrath, the is it, and that. Uh, I do want to take out the leaks. And then I'm going to take out a search as well. And I'll keep in the cryptics. <coughs> So I can definitely see why you want to be on this deck, Blake. It's a, uh, it's pretty good, killing everything. And one day our opponent will submit their deck. Pretty good. We can path, helix, snap, helix, or path. You don't like the serums, you might switch them for the ops. What's your uh, thought process on why you don't like the serums here? Hollow Fountain to the bottom, Helix on top, and we'll ship it over.
Yeah, the sorcery versus the instant, but Serum's gonna let you dig that much deeper, right? not cool opponent <coughs> so I want to run the snap in front of the geist in order to take care of it um, if I want to do that though I have to path this turn so let's go ahead and do that I'll grab a grab a hollow found shock myself Path the Supreme Phantom. And we're going to have to shock ourselves as well because I want to have the ability to cast that path. This block goes through. Coco. Coco. Ooh, ooh, that's rough. Oh, man. So, we can go for the snap path, and hopefully that's enough. And if they quell us, we're dead. They have another Coco. Oh my gosh.
So we could path the Supreme Phantom and then EE -E next turn ah, to get rid of the Geist and the Drag Skull. And we still die though if we do that route. Or we can path the Drag Skull and just hope to Helix to keep ourselves in the game a little bit longer. I think we're in a pretty bad spot no matter what. for three kills the guys and we would go to one against the supreme and the thalia so if they play no lords then we're alive and then we from there we can just chain helixes to stay alive oh yeah you're right we, we couldn't have done that anyway um i think that's where we're at because if we go for the Helix, we're just dead anyway. So if they play a Lord, we're dead. I didn't play a lord. They're going to one. We're just running this over, passing, I mean, passing it over. Go to two. A night of autumn, that's fine. Not really, but you know, what are we going to do? <laughs> is pretty good. Okay. <coughs> All right, let's try to bolt the Thalia. Let's just Helix the Night of Autumn. 
It was the requested deck, Greg? George? Another drug skull. Oh my goodness. Hmm, Harry. Okay, well, we can Snapcaster the Drog Skull. We can do it right now when they're tapped out. And then try to go Nahiri and try to win. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's, let's do the Snapcaster play right now. it over we are we are clawing our way back into this game yeah whatever deck you want to send my way I'm more than happy to play man Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I was thinking we would want to do a Nahiri kill here, and then that way they can only take it for one, and then we're not in like a really, really bad spot, so. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Man, a deputy detention. How dare they hit our Nahiri? Now we gotta get it back. And a drug skull. Oh my goodness. We need like a wrath effect like right now. I guess that'll do. Mm -mm -mm. So we could return the deputy to their hand and then use Nahiri and kill their supreme phantom. It would die to the dry skull, so it doesn't seem that worth it. Alternatively, we can just tap down their team on their turn or um, and then bounce our Snapcaster, but we would die to a Queller. Yeah, I'm leaning towards um, Greg and what I was talking about, where we would just bounce the deputy and then draw a card, exile the Supreme Phantom, and see what we can get. Oh, they have Hexproof. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that line was bad. But we got saved. <laughs> Oh, that line was so bad, but we got saved. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh man, okay, well we still need to draw a spell, like, right now. No. Oh my gosh, we... <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yes, yes, we should have done your line. We should have waited till the upkeep, tapped down their team, bounced the uh, snapcaster back to our hand, and then next turn we could have done it again. I know. Well, this hand's already a mull to six because of the Emrakul. Um... Do we think it's good enough, though? Because we've got Path, Snap, Path, and a Gideon here. Okay. I'm good with it too, because it seems pretty solid, so. Who knows, maybe we'll get an, 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 uh, an Ahiri and we can just ship the Emrakul and not be punished. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a, um, I want to be able to grab a white source here, um, but I want to have a red, another red source in case we get that anger, so I think I have to get the Sacred Foundry. Hey, Epoch, thanks for joining, man. Well, with the land we drew, now we have no issues with any lands at all, so... Mm -mm -mm. feel like pathing the Wanderer now is better than trying to path the Supreme, because we'll be taking three. Well, it's too late. I don't really like that line because, yeah, the, the upside's higher if they do go that route and do the sack. But there's also the option that they just let us do it and then we get really punished. So they get extra land and then they also hit us for three. No, seriously so like if i path the supreme right um we we put the ball into their court about what how they want to react to it right so we allow them to have the option if they if they value that extra land they'll just get the land if they don't value land they'll just let it happen so like th that's my only issue with going that route
think I'm gonna start the Nahiri train. No, wait. I can't. <sighs> because of Rest in Peace. But I can't exile the Rest in Peace. Mm-mm-mm. So we'll plus that. We'll exile the rest in peace. We'll pass it over. They could hit Nahiri down to one, but. In an ideal world, I'll play another creature, we can raft the board. I think I'm good with wrathing at this state. Okay, they're gonna quell it. So let's discard our Emrakul here. We'll uptick on the Queller, and we'll pass it over. Man, you guys are so much better at control than I am, because we lost the Rat. Uh, yeah, we we didn't lose the Rat file. Uh, but yes, upticking would have been the correct thing first. Goodbye, Nahiri. Let's get that Supreme. Make sure not to crack that flooded strand. <laughs>
Yeah, but look guys, I get to double wrath, and like, there's not very many people out there that get to double wrath. So, you know. <laughs> Had a path, I would have been so sad. <laughs> oh man, he's taking our Gideon. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I want to make sure, okay, I'm just going to fetch island and we'll snap caster and I'll make sure to target the supreme. We'll get our Gideon back. We'll even get an emblem. And we'll pass it over. There, guys. I did it. I'm pretty sure we won. <laughs> They're down to lands. Woot, we did it boys. Three and oh <laughs> Guaranteed money back. That's what we want, right? That's all we want in life. Just to go infinite all the time. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if they did top deck the Coco because, like, I feel like we deserve it at that point. You're right. More, hit all the creature decks and we're completely unstoppable. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just have to go ahead and maul this, right? Like, uh, a triple Nahiri seems pretty bad. This is, seems like a much more reasonable hand. George, man, sorry about that weekend. I just saw your post on that. That is a crappy weekend. Holy, oh, I feel. I'm sorry, man. I don't know. Unexpected costs and that we all hate to get.
opponent has a tough mulligan decision. I think I have to get into probably getting to the point where I have to edit videos, right? Because <clears throat> I can speed, I can create more content that way on other nights. Okay, they decided to keep. And we'll keep. So I want to keep that bolt, possibly. So let's just go ahead and run out the steam events tapped. Shadow. Goodbye, path or snap. Bye, snap. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I would want to make some quick watchable videos that I can like I can edit down the videos because there's so much waiting in between opponents deciding and um, you know decision making and conversations that it it honestly seems pretty worthwhile to start creating some more content um, that way. I can like focus on making you know I'll still do the two streams a week and then see if I can snag in one more um, video a week where I just record it myself, edit it, and then release it. Been uh, plot scenes and Inquisition down, not very much going on. That's a shadow. Mm -mm -mm. I think I want to play the waiting game with them. See if I can find an opportune time to bolt. I doubt they're gonna give me the opportunity. Oh, they might be. Oh, nope, there's the street wraith. I could helix here. Yeah. If they have a stubborn here, I'm gonna get punished pretty badly. Yep. Mm mm mm. now is a so like the downside with running out the Nahiri to exile the um, death shadows here is that they'll then they'll know our game plan they know that we're not just on a just guy control deck um, where I can just go for the path they have the uh, counter spell then it's just not happening anyway so in either case here a, a counter spell is just gonna end the game so I, I don't really want to show them our game plan if I don't have to so I think I'm just going to go for the path right now. And yeah, if they, if they have the counter here, I think we're good to just scoop it up. Because 
Uh, that way they don't know that we're on this game plan to take over the game. So. So I still like Supreme. I like Wrath. EE seems good for the one for the Shadow. Because we're on the play, I think I'm good with the rest in place plan to take out the Gormog's um, options. I think I want to bring in the Dispel. Uh, I kind of hate bringing in the Negates. Is that cr what's what's the game plan here as far as the sideboarding people? What what do you guys think? Negates too much? Okay. And I'm fine with cutting that. Now, do we keep the Nahiri plan in right now? Or can we rely on the fact that they're going to burn themselves out so much anyway that we can just take out this game plan and one other card and then we'll be able to just uh, snap both them and win the game? Because the, the other cards I want to cut are the uh, the Angers. That's why I was thinking maybe this, then? There we go. Let's go this route. I know that the, the Negates are a bit expensive, but I think that'll be just fine. Let's Let's try this. Okay, this seems pretty solid. We got a lot going on. We'll just run out of column A, pass it over, and uh, slam a uh, turn two search and see if that's going to be enough to give us the advantage with our um, path and bolt. Um, but uh, they're probably just going to inquisition us and take it from us. So rude. Don't take the search. Don't take the search. Don't take the search. Don't take the search. Don't you do it. They took the search, boys. Hmm, Gormak. Okay, we'll pass that. Well, Gideon's pretty good if they are on the single threat plan, so I'll see where they're at with that. <coughs> Imagine they have another threat since they knew about the path, right? They just wanted to get it out of our hand.
Okay, well, I'm happy they have no blue mana available now for us. We can slam this Gideon without much issue. Do we go for the bolt here right now? On the Death Shadow? Like, they know we have bolt, right? Like, I feel like I'd rather just save it and go for the double bolt to the face, snap bolt, and the swing for the kill. Yeah, I don't think it's even worth running out the rest in peace right now. What is all this mana for? They're gonna culligans us? Okay. Well, I think we're gonna discard this rest in peace, so... Shadow. They're attacking Gideon here. Do we want to run Snap out to just block? <clears throat> so I know we want to do the uh, Snap Bolt plan here, but we've got a Colonnade, and I feel like protecting Gideon is pretty strong right now. So like running out of Snapcaster and just snagging that path to path the Death Shadow seems pretty worthwhile. Because unfortunately, the Snapcaster is not going to be able to swing past the Death Shadow anyway because we're just locking it down. Yeah. So, what? Just uh, get Snap, throw it in front of the Death Shadow, force them to crack one fetch, and then after they crack the fetch, then we'll path it. So I don't really like that line, Garb. I know you're the, the one that plays this, but I feel like if we go with the bolt snap bolt here, we're letting our Gideon die, and we're putting all our eggs in the basket of being able to swing, and, they, and then they do not have a removal spell. And if they have a removal spell, we're just, we're just screwed over. Because we'll be giving up the Gideon, and then we're on just the bolt plan and they can just one of kill us. So, I don't know. I, I guess I'm quite against that because of all the things that could go wrong if they just have like a single removal spell. 
and we're giving up like three cards for it. Another shadow. We can try to set up for the kill, or at least the attempted kill next turn. So they're attacking Gideon with the 3-3, three, three, and I feel like we just let that hit. And they have to commit more to, um, to it before they can kill Gideon. And if they do get it up to 6-6, six, six, we can respond with the bolt. that's going to be the same as um, them shocking it is going to be the same as us <coughs> hmm. uh, same as us bolting them oh they didn't have anything left to fetch up anyway <laughs> Okay, so what what could possibly happen here? Um, we activate Colonnade, activate Gideon, swing out with the team. They block the Snapcaster or the Gideon, and they take lethal, unless they uh, have a spell. If they have a removal spell, they can kill the Colonnade, and then we're in a tight spot again. Alternatively, we can just activate the Colonnade, swing, uptick Gideon on one shadow, attempt to chump block, and then go for the Colonnade swing again next turn. Okay, well they're blocking Gideon, that's sweet. Mm -mm -mm. This member was pretty clutch by them, I gotta say.
That was like the one spell uh, we couldn't deal with, right? Okay. Then go to two and we bolt them. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was miscounting. I, I, I apologize. So. I wasn't counting damage already. I thought we had already hit. I don't know. I'm losing it. They're dead. Yeah. I'm I'm losing it. I'll... All right, uh, double path and a snap seems pretty solid. <coughs> And they didn't disrupt, disrupt us turn one? This is exciting. Alright, we have removed one threat. Let's see how many more they have. We've got these snappies ready to go. Yeah, me too. No red is pretty solid for us. That is a reasonable negate target for us as well. Oh no, they found the red source. Snapcaster mage. I can just leak this, right? <laughs> ah, I have all the power. They're on another Gormog? Feels like it. I 
You milled someone twice in one turn today? What do you mean you milled someone twice? Like you decked their- you went through their entire deck? And then you did it again? Did they have like an Emrakul or something? You had them at to seven cards, realize you did the combo wrong, reset with emergency powers and melt them properly. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you were drawing too many cards. Oh, the old mill deck mills himself. Solid strategy. Oh, uh, nice, nice. Yeah, we'll fetch so we can make sure to flip search on our upkeep. Once we have a flip search, I feel like the game's over. No, I'm just gonna take the path. We're gonna activate the colonnade, swing, and then path. Quality magic, folks. Quality magic. This is fun. This is this this feels wrong for the record. I can see why you control players like to play control so much. I feel like I have all the answers all the time. Sand seems solid. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, if you get to the point where you're just always in the final parts of the grind, um, it seems rough. Uh, if they have a gemstone cavern and a vizier, what? Are they a hyper vizier combo deck? Mm mm mm. That's a Thalia. I don't know what they on. 
but I also agree, I think we did. And that's the Vizier. <sighs> I feel like we're going to be shocking ourselves and just, uh... Getting this bolt out of the way on the Slalia. And then that way we can run out the Hollowed Fountain uh, untapped and we'll pass it over. know what they're doing over there. They send me in spirit guide for the uh, Thalia. That's funny. Well, they can't get devoted out, so they'll still have summoning sickness. I think this is about as good as time as any that we're gonna have to Nahiri. And I'm not gonna get rid of anything. Um. Okay, we're so good at this game. Is it a coca? It's a cord for two? I'm gonna say no, opponent. Counter and return target permanent. We're gonna counter that and bounce the app. I think we'll pass here, and if they want to do the Ballista counter up, we'll respond with a Helix. The Vizier. I don't. Mm, I wouldn't mind drawing another card. Let's just go ahead and do the path on the ballista. They can either shoot Nahiri for the full three or not get a land, so.
We're so reasonable. Hold up the snap cryptic. Yeah, I was supposed to play the land last turn. I know. I did not click it into play. The snap concede. Okay. So I want wrath. Supreme, is it? And EE again? Feel like that's just what we're bringing in every time. So, what do you guys think? Um, I know I want to take out the searches because it's not a grand of your matchup, and I want to have as much. Uh, as many answers as possible. Um, what do you guys think about cutting? Okay, that's that's very fair. The spell. Is this a matchup where we cut the combo? Because I either want to cut the combo here, or I feel like I'm going to be cutting a Gideon. We can just cut the leaks and that's a straight up swap. Should we also bring in Disdainful Stroke? It lets us stop a, uh, a walking ballista um, going off and it also still lets us hit most chords that they're going to be doing and the Coco. Um, so I feel like that's just because it's one extra card that we could be hitting on ballista, it feels worth it compared to the Negate. And I don't mind cutting like a one of Nahiri for that. Okay, cool. Let's run that. Well, you guys have always told me this can't go wrong, right? Like a one lander serum, like this is reasonable. <laughs> if we can resolve this scat uh, static caster, we're just going to be taking over the game. Field. I think we're gonna send the cryptic to the bottom and the flooded to the top. All right, that's a devoted. Let's just go ahead and bolt that, maybe. Chalice on one? What? What are we going to do?
Oh, this static's definitely gonna go the distance. This card's stupid. <gasps> A tracker? What kind of shenanigans is this? Hmm. Should we just feel the ruin them right now? That way they can't get the tracker value. Because I want to... I do want to hit the... Use the Field of Ruin here. So, I feel like we don't want to play the snaps, and then next turn we can run out both of them to block the tracker if we need to. Because if they get one more land here, that uh, that tracker is going to be above one um, snap. Unless you guys think it's just worth it to run one out right now, and then that prevents them from attacking. Because I want to bait them into the attack to get rid of that tracker, because that's going to get out of control for us. Okay, another chalice on one. We got another bugler. they got a vizier. I'm sending a message. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna have to do the ambush attack here. The swing with both buglers will throw a snapcaster in front of one bugler, uh, is it in front of the other? And then we can um, kill off one of the buglers. Seems decent. More. Oh, I was. I, I just clicked past that. I'm, I hate my life. That was supposed to be a counter draw. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just clicked past that. Well, at least I get to do it this time.
Well, there's an Emrakul. It's a bit of a bummer that when we anger, we're going to lose our Static Caster here that's holding them off from casting all their spells. Um, but I don't think they're going to be able to swing anytime soon because we're just going to be able to colony block everything. Well, yeah, we won't take two, though. We'll just activate the colony and block them down, so we won't take anything. They, they can't reasonably swing. <coughs> Do we even have enough lands in this deck to hard cast uh, an Emrakul? Twenty-four lands, but eight of them are fetches. So we have sixteen lands, so we can actually cast it. Supreme Verdict's also pretty good. Coco. Tracker and the Simeon Spirit Guy. Oh man. They have enough on board to where an Anger or Supreme would be worthwhile, but that Static Caster is the only thing holding back their Onslaught of creatures. We can probably wait one more turn and use a Colonnade to just block up whatever we want, or we can just pop the Supreme or the Anger right now, and that way they don't get more card draw. I feel like that's the biggest reason that I would want to do it right now is just so I don't want to give them more cards in their hand. Okay, that's a Vizier. Let's see how many cards they run out. They can run out a whole army and we'll just Supreme the board. I'm more than happy with that. Oh, <laughs> uh, they have post-mortem lunge. All right, so the good part here is they have to win with Ballista. And when they go for the Ballista win... Oh. No, because we get to Disdainful Stroke it.
Oh, they can't e it, can't they? They have it in hand. Okay. So yeah, then we're just dead. Being on the play, um, I feel like Manalee can come back in. Right? Like, can we just cut the the two Gideons and a Nahiri for the leaks? And we should bring these in, right? So should we just strip the combo at this point? Like, is that unreasonable here? Well, because I want to bring in the Wear and Tears, too, to deal with the Chalices. Okay, keep the combo. Cut all the serums? What do you mean? Are you serious? You want to cut all the serums? Like, that's what keeps our deck functioning. So you want to, you want to do that? <laughs> all right. I feel like this is crazy cutting uh, the serum, but all right, let's do it. Okay, we've got anger and static caster, and a dispel. Doesn't seem bad. Let's do it. I'm glad they didn't have Devoted turn one, because we would have been dead. I think we just ship it back. So if we run out Static Caster here, which I feel like is the correct play, they can respond with a Coco. And I think that's fine, because they can't combo off at uh, instant speed, so then we can just anger on our turn, if they do go off. And if not, then we're just good.
That's rude, opponent. Alright, I think we just let him pass, um, I and mean, we'll plan on just snap. Uh, taking the hit from the E-Wit here. And then we'll plan on just using snap and uh, countering the Coco. I did not see your uh, call out to uh, use Nahiri to kill uh, E with there. Oh, they have to burn a post mortem lunge? That's interesting. On the Coco? Okay. So they got another Coco in hand. Mm -mm. Okay, so my thought here is that we just anger, wipe the board, Nihiri, tick up, don't discard anything, and then we can Gideon smash for four, and we put them on the pressure that if they have, they, they have to go off on their turn to win. Thoughts? Okay. Uh, 
shells on one's fine. And then they can Coco. And those are both fine. Oh, baby. They're letting us annihilate six. Well, this deck is sweet. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I had to let our opponent know that I wasn't just uh, not conceding for time factor or anything else. That we actually had a play there and we just uh, were holding it up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is pretty fun. I like it. It's uh, exactly where we want to be if we can get five <laughs> matches in a row where we are uh, versing creature decks. So, oh, I'm going to stop the recording 